somewhere in your career you've heard this advice from an industry professional. Keep in touch with me when you have something big to report. WTF? How often in your career do you have something big to report? And how do you land something big if you aren't putting yourself out there to people who can hire you? It's a major catch-22. And this type of advice also completely discounts what marketing is actually all about. Marketing simply defined is about communication. Communication is based on relationships. So the more effort you put into your relationships, the stronger they will be. If you only wait to reach out and communicate when you have something big to report, you're letting that relationship go cold. So here's exactly how you can keep the relationship momentum going, even when you feel like you have nothing to say. Make it about them. Think for a minute about your close personal relationships. It would be straight up rude of you to meet a friend for lunch and talk all about you, never bothering to ask them anything about themselves. You would know about what they have going on in their life and talk about it, wouldn't you? I know I would. So marketing to your industry professionals is not all that different. First, you want to choose industry professionals who are in alignment with your career goals. Then, it's your job to be on the up and up about that person's career. Some great resources for this research are IMDb Pro, Deadline Hollywood, Casting About, Social Media Sites, and plain old Google. Once you know who you're building relationships with and what is up in their career, here are two possible ways to make it about them. Strategy number one, the professional congratulations. Let's say a director you've worked with in the past wins an award on the festival circuit, or an agent you've had your eye on leaves the agency to start their own management company. Congratulate them. Everyone in the entertainment industry wants to go to the next level. And acknowledging a big win for someone you admire and respect is a wonderful gesture. It also keeps you on the radar without you having to land a major booking. Although it may not always feel like it, industry professionals are, in fact, human beings. And everyone appreciates a heartfelt congratulations. So keep informed about the career progress of your professional relationships and make a point to congratulate your peeps on their big wins. Strategy number two, the personal connection. The people you have industry relationships with have an effect on you, just like the people in your personal life. Use these connections to keep the relationship going. So let's say, you took a class with a casting director who mentioned they grew up in Maine. You just went to Maine for vacation and it reminded you of that casting director. Write a letter that says something like, just got back from a great vacation in Maine and remembered you grew up there. What a beautiful place. Congratulations, you've just marketed yourself to someone. Here's another example. Maybe you worked on set with a director who gave you some really helpful feedback that has stayed with you because it was so useful. Imagine what it would mean to that person to know what a positive impact they had on you. Tell them in a genuinely complimentary letter. What industry professional is going to receive a note like that and say, well, they didn't report anything big, so they shouldn't have sent it? Nobody would. That's who. And now for a little assignment. Just knowing these strategies doesn't cut it. You have to put them into action. Pick three industry professionals you already have a relationship with. Someone you have either auditioned for, met, worked with, or studied with, and simply send them a personal note all about them. That means no promoting, no business cards, no audition requests, and no email. Just a heartfelt personal note sent via snail mail. Now, if you like this video, please share it with your friends and leave a comment below. I want to hear from you. What other marketing strategies have helped you get out of the nothing to say conundrum?